Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. So today we are going to talk about how to make a train on a picture moving very fast. So let's start this tutorial with importing an image of a train on a station with focus on a station, not the train itself. Now we have our image placed in Photoshop and first thing is first. We will create a backup of an original image by pressing Command J just in case if we need original image. Ok, now it's time to start selecting a train. We will select it with lasso tool. Start clicking left mouse button and select the whole train. And don't worry if the selection is not perfect. It can be always corrected later. Now we have our selection active and we need to copy it to a new layer. Make sure you have selected a layer with an image we imported. Click comma C for copy and create a new layer. And make sure you have selected it and then click command V for pasting selection into new layer. We can rename new layer to train for keeping files organized. Now we need apply motion blur to train layer so it will appear as it's moving. But first we need to duplicate the train layer. I will explain later why. Rename it to train overlay and make it invisible for now. Click here on the layer eye to do so. So select layer train and go to the top menu bar and click filter, blur, motion blur. Now the window appears with motion blur properties. First we need to adjust angle which is parallel to the angle of the train so it feels like it's moving into the right direction. Then start dragging slider until you are satisfied with amount of motion blur. I will go with 240. Click OK and we are almost done. Now remember when I told you to duplicate the train layer and rename it to train overlay. Ok, make it visible by clicking the eye icon on the left of the layer. Set the blending mode of a layer to overlay. Now we will adjust or correct amount of visible motion blur by sliding the opacity slider on the train overlay layer. So we need to adjust it to be as most realistic as possible. I will go with 20%. And one last thing. So the train is moving and we apply motion blur. But the station was our focus when we took the picture. Select the layer of an image that we imported. So you can sharpen it by clicking filter, sharpen, sharpen. Ok, that wraps up this tutorial for applying motion blur to a moving vehicle. Our mission is complete. Ok, remember the key steps. First, select the object that will receive a motion blur. Second, copy selection to a new layer. Then, duplicate that layer. Then, apply the motion blur in the right angle which is parallel to the direction of the vehicle is moving. Then adjust the opacity of a duplicated layer of a layer to achieve the best result. That's all for today guys. Thanks for watching and if you like the video make sure you slap a like and subscribe for more Photoshop tutorials. See you next time.